Hello, everyone out there. Uh, looking forward to talking about this important topic today. Uh, my goal is to establish the importance of data management for natural resource management and introduce a few techniques to help you build a strategy. Uh, to do that, we'll go over why data management is important, uh, the theoretical underpinnings. Uh, won't spend too much time there, uh, but we'll quickly get on to some practical uh, process for building a strategy and then uh, techniques that you can use to, to start your own. These are techniques that we've developed through the years uh, ourselves with uh, our own work. Uh, looking forward to hearing feedback, how useful this is to folks out there. So uh, if you apply any of these things, let me know. Uh, and uh, if you have any questions about, uh, about this topic, please reach out. Uh, my name is Brian Knowles, co-founder and managing partner here at Sitka. Uh, my background is in software development, data management, and data analysis. Uh, currently, I lead uh, the development of the, the TerraTrack platform for uh, implementation tracking and uh, the Marathi platform for adaptive management uh, and project management at, a, at a, a design level. I have 15 years of supporting natural resource management programs, uh, doing all kinds of data management tasks, software development tasks. Uh, working with many clients uh, around the world at this point. Uh, and I have a strong desire uh, to share the successful practices that we've learned to help improve natural resource management. I think a lot of good can be done by all of us taking better care of our data, uh, helping us all achieve better outcomes. Uh, Sipka has worked with many programs like the ones here in our nine year history. Uh, we are passionate about giving natural resource professionals exceptional software tools that help them get their critical work done. Over time, we have seen common patterns in data management practices. Uh, we'll see how these line up with your experiences, ma experiences managing data for your programs. Again, um, like to hear what people are trying out there uh, and uh, where folks are having challenges or successes, so please reach out with your story. Uh, in our experience, data manage management is critical for effectively managing natural resources. A survey we did in uh, 2013 uh, shows that data management is very important. Most folks use general purpose tools like Excel or ArcGIS. Those tools don't meet their needs very well, and important data is often lost. Uh, it's not a great picture. So. Uh, we're looking for ways to improve this situation. Well, what kind of data are we talking about here? Uh, the organizations we work with are focused on a set of goals uh, at the center and their data management activities around that goal uh, that should be in support of achieving measurable outcomes. Uh, example of a goal, uh, are we reducing the risk of catastrophic wildfire, uh, usually described uh, in terms of targets and desired future conditions in many cases. Next up is over in the uh, uh, northeast here. In order um, <clears throat> to, to des design the work that we're doing, <clears throat> we need to outline strategies and how they're supported by results chains. An example of this is uh, to improve freshwater, uh, freshwater wetland habitat, we need to increase native plant species richness by ensuring native plants are not outcompeted by purple loosestrife. So that outlines a whole uh, uh, results chain. We'll go into that more a little bit later. Uh, planning, this is where we get down to doing activities, working with partners and figuring out funding. Uh, an example here is implementing the strategy of improved trail connectivity requires coordination with our regional partners to acquire key trail segments. Next up down here is implementing. Uh, this uh, focuses on things like work efforts, scheduling, staff, uh, volunteers, contractors, et cetera. And uh, here in the Northwest, uh, an example is the uh, imminent bare root planting season, which requires management of dozens of, of contractors and hundreds of volunteers doing the optimal 
weather window. Uh, monitoring, are we seeing the desired outcome? Uh, this is where we get to indicators, measures, surveys, sites, and protocols. Uh, example here is wildlife monitoring to document the breeding bird community's response to oak release work recently completed. So I'm sure you all have your own examples uh, for these different types of data. You can, you can start to think of those uh, yourself. Uh, but these are, are, are major data management activities we come across frequently. 